Hello and welcome to the very first day of 2022. Yes, this is the 1st of January and I would like to share with you a prophetic word that God just deposited into my spirit during December as I was searching for him and asking him what can we expect from 2022 and what is it that he wants to do in 2022. So there's just a few points that I want to share and one of them is um, that this is the year of the miraculous. This is the year of newness. We are going to embark on the spiritual journey and we will, will find a new level of faith. God is going to reveal himself to us in a whole new um, level of relationship with him. And we are also, um, we thought we've got God, God all figured out. But in this time, he's going to reveal so much more of himself if we only dig deep into his word and um, come and search for him face to face. Because we are the Jacob generation. We are the ones that is going to search for him face to face. And we are the ones that is going to, um, uh, like like Jacob wrestled with God, he, he contended with God, um, besides what he faced um, in the world, besides what his position was and the adversaries, adversity that, that he was going through. He just pushed through all boundaries and that is where God wants to take us um, in this time that never mind what what your situation or your um, or how the outlook is or whatever that you would search for him with your whole heart with all your might um, yes and uh, everything in you that you would really just search for him and um, to dig deep into his word it's like the, the widow with Elijah that had to go and borrow vessels. We can still borrow vessels, but you cannot borrow oil. So um, to really um, trim your vessels, like in Matthew 25, the, the virgins had to um, trim their vessels. They had to prepare it. And this is the year of preparation in which um, God will prepare us to take in our promised land. Just like in Joshua 5 uh, from verse 12 to, to 15, it's also the year in which the manna will cease. Um, this is the year in which we will live from milk and honey. So I asked God, but isn't milk for baby food? And you say we're going to next level, but the Lord says no. The milk is the purest form of his word and the honey is his wisdom. The, the world has got a lot of plans. But God's plans are all next level. So that is on the, the journey that he is going to take us on. Is that we will live from milk and honey. We will live from the word and from his wisdom in this time. And that is, he is going to re prepare us to take in our promised land. And um, you'll also see from verse 13 in Joshua 5. That um, the commander of the Lord's army showed up which is actually Jesus, but he showed up to, to guide the way and to, um, and to really give strategy and instruction. And that is exactly what God is going to do in this time. But I really want to encourage you to dig deep into the word and that you would really search for him face to face. And as you search for him in his word, um, the more you're going to dig into the, the word, the more alive his spirit will become in you and through you. And um, yeah, so I hope you have a very, very blessed year. And um, may you really find God in a next level. May you experience his love for you um, on a whole new different um, dimension. Yes, yeah, so blessings and um, keep well.